in the league night grade, these local teams are looking for a spark. The Marion Colts decided to forfeit their final two games of the season because of a lack of players. The Shenandoah Valley Blue Devils lost in week number nine to Minersville as they get ready for their annual rivalry game with Monoy area. Quarterback Joseph Carvoice led the Devils on a 65-yard touchdown drive against the Miners. He scored on a running play, plus Carvoice had an interception while playing defense. Hazelton area topped Wall and Paw Pack at home. Matt Bookman had three rushing touchdowns to go along with 129 yards on the ground. Kellen Warner went 18 of 23 passing for 179 yards and a touchdown, while senior Matt Fisher caught nine of Warner's passes for 96 yards. Now to the bituminous grade for our teams getting ready to catch fire. Monoy area got a forfeit win from Marion as they prepare to travel to Shenandoah Valley for their regular season finale. If the Bears beat the Devils, it would be their fourth straight victory and it would vault them into the anthracite grade. Speaking of the anthracite grade, our two local teams on fire just kept on burning last Friday night. Tamaqua beat Jim Thorpe and since Marion will forfeit in week 10, the Blue Raiders will finish the regular season at 8-2. Against the Olympians, Tamaqua's defense recovered three fumbles, including one in the end zone for a touchdown by Sean Levine. Braden Knobloch rushed for three touchdowns in the game and passed for 92 yards. Nate Boyle was over the century mark again for Tamaqua with 117 rushing yards and a touchdown. North Schuylkill is on top of the coal scale again. They beat Lehigh in 59 to 8 in week number 9. Jaden Leiby had a 43-yard touchdown run. Tyler Elsden had a 24-yard pick 6 and Zach Chowanski scored two rushing touchdowns and that all happened in the first quarter. Leiby and Chowanski finished with three rushing touchdowns each. The Spartans host Pottsville on Friday with the winner claiming the 2019 Schuylkill League Division 1 championship. Our John Eric Poli will be at that game, so stay tuned to SSP TV News for a recap and the final coal scale of the year next week.